wasting my time. Hey there gamers, get ready for a wild ride as we dive into the post-apocalyptic world of Miasma Chronicles. Now, I'm not a big fan of turn-based tactical games, but the story of Miasma Chronicles, Miasma Chronicles, reminded me of Full Metal Alchemist. Ooh. A short, loud mouth with a metal arm, his brother, the Tin Man traveling companion. And besides, how does one mix real-time exploration with tactical turn-based combat and RPG elements? Mm. Well, mm. let's check it out in our review of Miasma Chronicles. Since this game is from the Bearded Ladies, the creators of the great Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden, I expected tactical variety and depth. Miasma Chronicles provides both of these elements in bunches, so in general I am satisfied and I can recommend this game to all fans of tactical RPGs with a clear conscience. We start with our protagonist Elvis. Resembling a typical American teenager, he is a mechanic in the town of Sedentary. His only family is Diggs, the robot program to look like his older brother. Elvis's mother disappeared many years ago behind a wall of miasma, leaving her son a glove which allows him to control the substance. By the way, what is this miasma? These are small black particles that cause mutations and deformities in plants, animals, and humans. It is thanks to them that the once lush game world has turned into a desolate wasteland. Now his mom commands him to find her and discover his own destiny. Cue the anime beginning credits. The overall plot is not bad and it can be interesting at times despite some cliches. More importantly, it did not interfere with exploring an interesting, dark, mysterious world, which by the way pleases the eyes regardless of whether the particles of miasma are swirling on the screen or not. I wanted to love the characters in the game and ship the brotherly human boy robot love between Elvis and Diggs, but the characters seemed weirdly exaggerated and lacking depth. Voice acting was well done, even if the dialogue was cringy or cliché. From the moment you start playing Miasma Chronicles, you'll scavenge for resources, craft weapons, and fight off hordes of mutated froggy creatures. There is turn-based shooting from behind covers, with the hope that you won't miss the enemy who is also behind cover, hence the need for stealth. After spotting opponents, you usually have the opportunity to sneak up on them and prepare an ambush. When there are many opponents, you can first draw one away from the others and then pick them off one by one. In this way, you can mow down large groups of non-intelligent enemies without taking even the slightest damage. If enemies should ambush you, it's going to require a lot more thinking and scheming. Ammo, weapons, and strategies are explained gradually so you can build attack combinations on your own. Make a mistake in your plan and you may be able to squeak through a victory at a significant cost to your limited resources. Otherwise, you may as well reload your save and try again. From the start of the game, you can decide on the tactical depth you want to experience, with only the first three being switchable after the campaign starts. But if it wasn't for the fights that move the plot, you could basically play this entire game without being seen by the enemy. The game did have some annoyances. At the beginning, switching between movement and shooting mode in combat took some getting used to. Skills are gained at a slow pace, and even though there are new abilities granted to characters, for much of the game you'll be moving and shooting with the occasional reload. If you're not a fan of post-apocalyptic settings, you're going to hate all the doom and gloom and misery and the excessive use of grey and brown palettes. And there were some performance problems with the game not being sufficiently optimized even on high-end PCs. Despite the storyline leaving much to be desired and the minor technical problems, Miasma Chronicles is an enjoyable tactical RPG. If you like strategy, the combination of real-time exploration with a tactical turn-based combat system and apocalyptic and fantastic settings, Miasma Chronicles is undoubtedly your game. After playing Miasma Chronicles, I can say that it will keep you hooked for a long period of time, especially if you enjoy turn-based games and apocalyptic themes. It excels in world building with its stunning visuals and it poses thought-provoking questions about real-world issues like the price of technological progress and the actions of the ruling class in the face of crises. Mm. Now, despite the grim setting, the story balances the dark with moments of humor and humanity. 
Well, Swedish developers, the bearded ladies, certainly listened to their fans of their previous games and tightened up the stealth elements of the turn-based combat. If they can fix up some of the technical flaws, mm. then their game could surely be a hit. Mm -hmm. Now that's it for today's review of Miasma Chronicles. Now guys, don't forget to like, subscribe and use our socials. Yes. Stay tuned for some more exciting gamified news and reviews. Ooh.